What's up, everyone? The AI app building revolution is here, and today we're settling the ultimate debate, lovable versus replit. If you've been wondering which platform will actually help you build real applications faster and better, you're in the right place. I'm going to break down everything you need to know about these two platforms. We'll compare their approaches, features, pricing, and most importantly, I'll show you exactly when to use each one. Plus, I'll give you my honest verdict on which platform comes out on top. Whether you're a complete beginner or an experienced developer, by the end of this video, you'll know exactly which tool fits your needs. So, let's dive in. Let me walk you through what it's actually like to use each platform. With Lovable, the experience feels magical. You start a conversation, describe your app idea in plain English, and watch as it generates a complete application. Want an e-commerce site? Just say, I need an online store that sells handmade jewelry with Stripe payments. Within minutes, you have a working prototype with a polished front-end, back-end logic, and payment integration. It even handles the visual design, giving you something that actually looks professional. The real strength here is speed. I've seen people go from idea to working MVP in under an hour. It's incredibly intuitive. If you can explain your idea to a friend, you can build it with Lovable. Replit offers a completely different experience. You get a full IDE in your browser with AI assistance at every step. The AI can write code for you, debug errors, explain complex functions, and even generate entire features from descriptions. But you're still fundamentally coding. You see the code, you can modify it, and you have complete control over every aspect. What's brilliant about Replit is the collaboration features. Your entire team can code together in real time. Just like Google Docs, but for programming, the AI assistant is like having a senior developer looking over your shoulder, ready to help whenever you get stuck. Let's talk specific features because this is where the differences really show. Lovable excels at rapid prototyping. It generates full stack applications, handles visual editing through a clean interface, and comes with built-in integrations for services like Stripe and Supabase. You own all the generated code, which means you can export it and hand it off to developers later. The GitHub integration is seamless, and you can publish to custom domains without any hosting headaches. The limitation? Lovable can struggle with highly complex applications or very specific custom requirements. It's optimized for speed and common use cases, not edge cases. Replit shines in versatility and control. You get support for virtually any programming language, built-in hosting and deployment, database integration, and even mobile app development. The AI Assistant is incredibly sophisticated. It can refactor your entire code base, explain complex algorithms, and help you debug the trickiest issues. But here's the thing. Replit requires you to understand code to some degree. You can't just describe an app and walk away. You need to be involved in the development process. Let's talk money because pricing can make or break your decision. Lovable keeps it simple. Free tier for public projects with five prompts daily and $25 monthly for unlimited private projects. That's incredibly reasonable for what you get. Most people can validate their entire business idea on the free tier. Replit's pricing is more complex. Free tier gives you 10 development apps, but the real power comes with paid plans starting at $25 per user per month. If you're working solo, it's comparable to Lovable. But if you have a team, costs multiply quickly. Heavy AI usage can also rack up additional charges. The key difference? Lovable's pricing is about projects, while Replits is about users and usage. After extensive testing, here's my bottom line. Both platforms are excellent, but they serve different needs. For pure speed and ease of use, Lovable wins hands down. If you're a founder who needs to build and test multiple MVPs quickly, Lovable is your best friend. The ability to go from conversation to working app is genuinely revolutionary. But for long-term development and complex projects, Replit takes the crown. The learning opportunities, collaboration features, and unlimited flexibility make it incredibly powerful for serious development work. My personal recommendation? Start with Lovable to validate your ideas quickly, then graduate to Replit when you need more control and complexity. That's my complete breakdown of Lovable versus Replit. Which platform are you leaning toward? Drop a comment and let me know what kind of app you're planning to build. If this comparison helped you make a decision, smash that like button and subscribe for more AI tool breakdowns. I've got tons more platform battles coming your way. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.